few weeks ago, I was from one of those who was thinking, perhaps this is a big hoax. Perhaps this is just, you know, something and it's over exaggerated. I promise you, it took me just a little bit of travel, a little bit of research, a little bit of concern for the Ummah to quickly change my mind to say, you know what, as a leader, you should never say those words. Luckily, I never said them in public. Subhanallah. And those who are saying today that don't ever do anything about it. Two weeks from now or a few weeks from now, they will cry tears of blood if they truly have the concern for humanity. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us understanding. If we were to tell you, my brothers and sisters, keep a little bit of a distance between each other when you're talking. Even if people were to say, put on your mask, whether it helps or not from a medical perspective is something else. They would not be wrong. This is good advice for you. Remember, it is mainly the weak and the vulnerable whom we are concerned about. The older people, the young ones might ride the wave and come out of it because the percentage of death, they may argue, is very small. But who knows if you have an underlying condition, the chances are that you will be from among those who don't make it. And trust me, if you have 12 ICU beds in an entire country, you don't want to even begin to think of where you're going to go. If they tell you in modern countries, first world countries that you know what, we have to choose who we serve because have you been of service to humanity? Are you a person we need in the community? If yes, this is the bed for you. If not, go and die. May Allah forgive us. We don't want to ever see those days. So all I am saying today and this address is extremely important is brothers and sisters. Yes. There may be a conspiracy theory. It might have started by this person and that person. It might have been started for political or financial reasons. Whatever it may be, that's not my field. I have to look at what is on the ground today, no matter who started it. When the bushfire started in Australia, they could blame anyone. But it became a catastrophe for humanity, not just for Australia. Who started it and who didn't is a topic for those who, who enjoy that or who want to look into it. But as for you and I, what's of importance for us is to save lives, to ensure we don't give the wrong advice and we don't blackmail people using religion. How can you? So if authorities were to tell you, listen, you have to adopt the following, then my brothers and sisters, no matter what type of a conspiracy may be, wherever it might have come from, you have to take heed. People are not foolish.